this old lady just humbled the crap out of like 95% of the modern day women. Y'all, when I came across this video clip here, I had to share it with you all because to me, it really does demonstrate just how far from grace we have fallen as a society, especially in regards to women. You know, it used to be a thing to where we would be happily married and taken care of very early on. But now in today's time, with a lot of the women wanting to be strong and independent and boss chicks and city girls and go outside in the streets and partying and clubbing all day, like, that's not happening like it used to. You know, it's very hard for a lot of women to find a man to take them seriously, let alone settle down with them and marry them. And so with this clip here, I thought that it would be very highlight worthy and teachable to really hold a mirror up to a lot of these women out there to really see where they're coming up short. Because it used to be a very common thing for a lot of us to be good early on in life. We'll have our husbands, we'll have our family, we'll have our stability and security, but that's just not a thing like it used to be. And could it be because a lot of the men just are not seeing the value in a lot of women? You know, they're not seeing us to be wifey material, let alone somebody that could be a mother to their children. So just on all levels, I feel like this short video clip says so much. And I want to share it with you all and get you all's feedback, okay? But y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and hop into this granny here chin-checking and correcting a lot of these modern-day women. Let's roll the clip. How old are you? I'm 38. I've never been there. Huh? Have you ever been there? Really, Nana? 38 years old. Really? Hmm? Really? Really? I've never been there. No children or nothing. You sure miss a lot of life. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why do I have to get married and have kids just to have a good life? You do have no good life. I do. You don't go nowhere. I do. I just got back from a trip. By yourself, no man. <laughs> if you don't have a man, you ain't nothing. Oh, Granny said, if you don't have a man, you don't have nothing. Now, again, she's having this dialogue and this conversation with what I'm going to assume is her granddaughter that is 38 years old, which is practically 40 years old. Um, however, I do feel like this conversation can open the eyes of so many because it can apply to so many of the women out there today. So although she's talking to her granddaughter, she's really talking to the everyday average woman, especially in today's time. So pay attention to that. You know, she's like, damn, like you're 38 years old and you're not married. Like that's unheard of, especially for a woman of her age, her age group. Like that was something that was just not a thing like it is today. And so it can be very alarming for a lot of our elders, especially seeing how far we have fallen from grace too. Because let's be clear, you all, it is in our nature as women to have men. I don't care how much y'all try to separate from that, deny that, you know, make yourself feel better about not having that. But it is very deeply embedded within us to have that companionship, that love, that stability and security from a man, you know, to, to start families and everything of that sort. Now, uh, I understand that a lot of us may not have started our families yet, but nonetheless, at the very least, it had to be a thing to where you had a man in your life. 
because again in our nature as women that is what fulfills us that's what makes us have purpose and i know that makes y'all feel so icky inside to say that out loud but that is the truth your career will not save you from that feeling your money will not save you from that feeling because it's in a it's within you as a woman to be a help me to a man to balance out a man and when you don't have it it's like where am i going wrong like why do y'all see so many women out there like ebony k that you know are very career driven and they seemingly have all this success and all this money yet they're out here paying top dollar for you know the swimmers so they can have a family and even with them starting families alone they still feel alone because guess what's missing a man so yeah it's it's within us i don't care how successful you are i don't care how much money you have that is going to be something that is always heavy on your mind on your essence on your energy because that's what you were created for as a woman to have a man to balance a man out to be complimentary to a man and so grandma here she can't fathom this new world to where it's like you're damn near 40 years old no children no man no husband never been married never had nothing it's just like what are you doing with your life but nonetheless let's continue and y'all like the video share the video and subscribe i really need y'all to pay attention to the difference it's day and night grandma i'm pretty sure had already had her first child and was married by 25 23 and here her granddaughter is damn near 40 with nothing but let's take it back because she said something that was like whoopsie let's get into it do i just got back from a trip by yourself no man <laughs> if you don't have a man you ain't nothing really i'm not nothing without a man huh you're not a lesbian are you <laughs> are you no i had a husband tell you that oh that right there is what i want to highlight y'all she said if you don't have a man you don't have nothing and, and look i know it's very triggering it's very upsetting when these women are coming through telling the truth like this okay and that's the reason why it triggers us so bad when we hear people say things like, oh, well, if you don't have a man, you don't have nothing. Or if you don't have a man, you ain't nothing. The reason why it's so triggering to us and it's so hurtful is because deep down inside, we know it's a little bit of truth to it. Okay. It's really a lot of bit of truth to it, but I'm trying to spare y'all feelings, you know, but you know, that's why it hurts us so bad. It's like, damn, because I do feel that void though so for this elder who has lived a, a very long life she has a lot of wisdom and everything for her to come through and vocalize these things and say it out loud it's like wow that hurt why because it's true but let's continue but that's the thing right there that i want to highlight when grandma said you know you ain't got no man you ain't nothing you ain't got nothing and that's true okay and i know that hurts our egos and everything but again ladies why do y'all think the most successful of women are still struggling and having a very hard time coping with life it's because a lot of them are st so strong independent and bossed up you know that they are pushing a lot of the men that they would want to be with away from them and so they're having to do life alone and we already know in our nature as women we're not meant to do that. We're supposed to be a help me, an assistant, not the end all be all. And so we all feel that. And that's why when we hear it vocalized and said out loud, it does trigger us. But let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Also, y'all let me know. So far, do y'all agree with grandma? Let me know. <laughs> okay. But let's continue, y'all. That well, boy fit all the time. I still have sex. I know you do, but that's not right. That's dirty. 
sleeping around like a slut? Ah! It's one person. One person. Sleeping around like a slut. Your mama. I didn't do it. I had a husband. Oh. <laughs> y'all, I am thoroughly blown away. Like I said, y'all, I had to share this clip with y'all because grandma went off. She said, you don't got no husband, never been married, ain't got no kids. You're damn near 40 years old. Are you a lesbian? Like, what's wrong with you? If you don't got a man, you ain't got nothing. If you don't got a man, you ain't nothing. And then she went on to say that you're sleeping around, y'all in the streets. You know, y'all just being real nasty. It's disgusting. If he ain't your husband, then you might as well be a slut. That is what grandma said. And it's so actual factual. And I know we hate it, but that is the truth, y'all. We have really diminished our value as women by being out here, being reckless with our bodies, reckless with sex, reckless with our lives. And it's just really a disaster what we have created. You know, grandma was essentially saying, look, by you not, you know, being very wise and highly selective with who you are laying down with, that's nasty. That's not right. I don't care if it is just one guy. Why isn't he taking you seriously enough to marry you and you're damn near 40 years old? Why are you still out here behaving like a young woman at damn near 40 years old, you know, clubbing and partying and, you know, vacationing? And there's no real substance and stability in your life. So what grandma said, it could be very hurtful, okay, because she's very blunt in her delivery. And it could be very triggering, but nonetheless, I really do feel like what she said had a lot of truth to it and it could really wake us up to see where we're coming up short are we being very mindful and highly st strategic and selective with the things that we indulge in the people that we indulge in certain things in with you know all of that matters and we're not unfortunately i'm gonna be honest y'all a lot of us are just coasting through life winging it along you know waiting around for maybe one day someday some prince charming to fall out the sky and save us and rescue us and it's not happening so while y'all are out here wasting your time wasting your youth wasting your energy i want y'all to know it's gonna lead you down a path to loneliness bitterness and voids emptiness, all of that. I need us to get back on track, ladies. We need to get back into the same mold of what our great grandmothers were on, what our grandmothers were on to where it was like, look, I'm a young lady that is looking to live a certain type of life. And in order for me to live that certain type of life, I'm going to have to get with a certain type of man. I need a man that is a provider, a protector, a leader, a teacher, a wise man, a man that loves me, that values me, a man that has a plan, not only for himself, but for me as well. Like we need to get back on that path instead of saying to hell with that. I'm going to go out here, be a hoe, have a whole phase, you know, mess up my youth, do what I want to do. And then. When I'm damn near 40 years old, I'll try to figure it out then. Stop doing that. We are really doing life backwards and it's doing nothing but hurting us. Get back to the basics, ladies. Learn how to be wives again. Like we don't know how to be wives anymore. All we know is city girl culture, whole culture, party culture. You know, that's, that's all we know. And so that's why we are even still being presented with guys who may pipe it down, right? So she said, I'm still having sex. Yeah, these men, they, they, they still will probably, you know, give you a nice little roll in the sack, but are they being committed to you? Are they being devoted to you? Are they making a quote unquote honest woman out of you? No. And it's all because you're not making an honest woman out of yourself first. 
y'all are being way too reckless. And so that's why a lot of us are waking up at 38, 48, 58, 68, Vivica Fox, talking about, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. Snap up out of it, ladies, before it's way too late. We have fallen so far from grace till it's pathetic. This is nasty work. But I had to share this with y'all because I felt like grandma gave it to us real raw, uncut, unfiltered. And I feel like it was just a reality check that a lot of us need so that we can snap up out of this and get our lives back on the right track. All right. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, and feedback about this down below in the comments. I look forward to what you got to say. And again, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown head.